Let's talk about how we add additional audio soundtracks in iMovie. It's the most straightforward way of doing this is to go to the music tab right here, a little musical keynote, music and sound effects. And depending on how I, uh, iMovie is installed, you may have some sound effects that you can add in, you know, alarms, all sorts of things walrus roars, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, you may also have some loops from, from GarageBand, but you also have access to your iTunes library. I'm not going to get into a long discourse on copyright law right now. I'll just say be careful to make sure that you use music that you legally have a right to use. And most of the time, if you're going to be publishing this out to the web, you don't have the right to use that music. I'm grabbing this one. This is a free download from MC Chris. It's a wonderful Star Wars rap. As you see, as I grab this music track, if I just bring it into the project and drop it, it becomes a background audio track for the entire movie how, until it, it runs out. I can remove it just by clicking it and edit, and, 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 and delete. I can also preview it right here. It's playing. It's great. I can also, if I want, the, another approach to bring in a soundtrack is actually to add it and put it at a specific place in the audio. So that, well, actually, let me put this back here and I'll grab uh, an alarm here. So this alarm is now a specific effect here. So you can actually... So you see that the, I, I can start to layer these effects. I can actually have more than one, one effect playing at once on top of a music soundtrack. It can, be, it can become incredibly complicated. Usually, the word of wisdom is put together your soundtrack in GarageBand, which is much, much, much better for audio editing, and then bring that whole track into iMovie. And you can see, actually, if you have GarageBand projects, you'll be able to pull those out in iMovie. That's terribly handy. Another way of adding audio to this is to select a clip, or if you want to narrate all the clips, uh, hold down Shift to, sele to, sele to, to select more than one clip at a time, and click the microphone button right here. This will allow you to record a voiceover. Of course, your best bet is to use an external microphone, for example, a boom microphone on a headset um, or a lapel microphone, a lavalier mic. Um, but you can just use your computer's uh, audio to record this as well. And if you click this button, it brings up a little recording dial, a little recording dealer here. As you choose which microphone you're using, it shows you what your levels are. and I'm going to have it not play my audio so that I'm able to think while I record this. And then I can click on my, now note I selected all these clips so it will actually keep going from clip to clip. If I had selected just one clip, it would stop at the end of that clip. I'm going to click right here at the beginning of this clip. It's giving me a countdown. And now it's recording my voiceover of everything that I'm seeing here. It's showing me the video. I'm talking over it. And when I pause, we'll see that, in fact, I have stopped or I have recorded this. And I've got this purple track here, which is my voiceover. And now it's recording my voiceover. Of you see, it's a recording within recording. It's this wonderfully recursive thing. And once I put these voiceovers in, I, I am actually able to, um, as with any, any other audio clip, I should be able to move them around to different places in the, in the video if I want. I can also, oops, I'm sorry, I do a lot better if I close this. I can move my, my, my voiceovers around, right, slide them around just like I can video clips, but you can see they overlap video clips, which is handy. I can adjust placement of music or soundtracks, just like I can movie clips. And now I've added another layer to my iMovie project.